Hello. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, so my name is Margarita. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Central Access. We do software for data center management. Cool. Uh, let's uh, speak about your company. Uh, what is core functionality you have and how you help uh, data centers? Yep, so the way it works is you have a single utility node and from there we onboard all of your assets from your PDUs, your switches, your servers, and then for the data center operators as well, the crack units, the PDU, uh, the UPS systems, all your different energy equipment and cooling equipment. From there, we basically build up a bunch of data of exactly what's going on across your data center. We build up your ticketing and alert system so you we're able to detect failures or any issues really fast send that to all your operators. Um, and then we also do power management, so power optimization, power flow mapping, network management. Um, so everything a data center needs in order to operate efficiently and at scale. Cool, and you, uh, I think you have your own models or you use some uh, uh, model providers. Uh, so which type of model you use in your product? Um, yeah, we do have some internal models just for the optimization layer, but um, the main the main focus of the product is really the data collection and the monitoring and then the um, asset kind of ticketing approach as well. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, some uh, customers uh, for now? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've done a ton of different like pilot deployments and then some larger data center operations as well. Um, so yeah, we've only got, gone to the market about a year, but we've seen so many new data centers coming to the market. Um, and it's obviously very difficult to build something like this internally. Um, and you need it in order, any data center in order to run its operations needs operational software. And so we've seen a lot of traction that way. And you have uh, your customer in the US or other region also in Europe, for example? Yeah, Asia. so far everyone in the US. That's where me and my co-founders are and, and we kind of have gone. But um, we, we've we been talking to a lot more, especially in the UK uh, and Australia and then also in Germany. So obviously there's a ton of activity happening um, in Europe. Another good thing with Europe is like there's a lot more energy compliance requirements. So PUE tracking and all these things. And so they really, really look at compliance reporting, which is what we can do. Um, so, so that's been good, but we haven't launched in any like abroad data centers. Cool. Very often uh, startups speak about uh, some success story, but let's speak about fails. Uh, yeah. What fails you got uh, through your journey and uh, what uh, lessons learned you did? Yeah, I mean, I think there's obviously been a million. Like, I've never, I came from doing data center operations at Microsoft and it was, you know, large company to like doing small company stuff. So, um, like, maybe one failure is we would go from sales. Um, we would go straight to like, okay, let's just do all your data center operations. Um, now we mostly start with pilots mm -hmm. and, and kind of get the customer onboarded that way. And so kind of learning, first of all, the sales process has been good. Uh, learning how to do go to market. It's just, there were a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. that we made, but we quickly tried to learn and iterate and you know change up our approach if something wasn't working well. Um, so. Yeah, definitely lots of failures on the way, but it's it's still like super, super worth it. Yeah, when you come from a large company and try to build some small startup system. Uh, I have a lot of resources uh, as it was on my job previously, but then you see real world. <laughs> Oops, yeah. you cannot do this. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Uh, yeah, um, good. And what are you looking for for now? What we're looking for? Um, I think to just keep growing, keep talking to more and more data centers, keep increasing our deployments. Um, yeah, just to keep growing kind of as we are. Yeah, um, I hope this interview will help also to find some new opportunity for you. Uh, yeah, thank you for uh, this interview. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah.